In this section, we'll be looking at pull, and specifically, we'll be looking at the tool guides inside of pull. So to start, I'll double click on pull underscore tool guides. In this model, we're going to be focusing on pull. And our tool guides, we'll be looking at revolve, we'll be looking at sweep, and we'll be looking at draft. To begin, I'm going to make a quick sketch on the top face. So I'll click the rectangle tool, and select the top face to create a sketch on that face. I'm going to make two small rectangles. To go back into 3D, I can click the 3D button, or I can click Pull. We have our two faces here that we've sketched, and if I select on one, and pull up, you notice it pulls straight up. It's using the same offset command that you've already seen inside of pull. But what happens if we want to pull this along a trajectory? This is when we'd use our tool guides. And specifically, we'll use sweep. Sweep lets us take a face and extrude that along a selected trajectory. If I click sweep, I can then double click an edge. Notice the edge gets highlighted in blue because that's an alternate selection. You'll also notice that the shortcut for sweep, revolve, and draft is alt click. Holding on the alt key is another way to make an alternate selection. Now if I dynamically drag this, you notice it sweeps along that highlighted edge to make a change. Another way to sweep that along would be to click the Enter key or click Full Pull. Either of those will sweep that along the entire trajectory. Now one thing you may notice is that it sweeps along that entire trajectory that you've chosen, but not past it. You could fix this two ways. You could either pull afterwards to pull it a little bit longer, or let's look at another way with the second surface we've sketched. If I click this face, remember I can dynamically drag and thicken that into a solid protrusion. I'm going to hit the escape key to cancel. If I'd like to sweep this along the trajectory, I could choose our sweep tool guide, or remember, I could just hold down the Alt key and select my trajectory. If I hold down Alt, and I double click that edge, you'll notice it guesses to sweep along it. So it guesses to sweep all the way around that edge. And if I click Enter, it automatically sweeps along it. I'm going to undo and show you a second way. If I click this face, I don't need to alt double click. I could alt single select all of the edges. One thing you may notice is that as soon as I select another edge, the previous one gets unselected. That's because alt only lets you select alternate edges. If you want to select multiple alternate edges, hold down control and alt at the same time. Now when you select on additional edges, it adds them to your selection. So hold on Control and Alt to select multiple edges. Now if I click Enter, it will sweep along that trajectory. Now let's look at another thing we can do with our tool guides. I'm going to select on the axis running through our hole, and I'm going to click on a rectangle to make a quick sketch. I'm going to sketch a rectangle on this corner. Now you'll notice if I go back into 3D, I have a surface and I have a solid. If I click this surface, I can drag it forward or I could drag it backwards. Notice it extrudes to add geometry or to cut geometry away. I'm going to escape to cancel this action. If I want it to revolve it around the axis, I could click Revolve and click the axis, or 
I'll clear my selection. I can select on the surface and hold down Alt and pick the axis. You'll notice that depending on what you Alt click, it guesses on what it should do, whether it should revolve, sweep, or draft. Now if I drag, again, it guesses to add or to cut geometry. I'm going to hit Escape and show you that you could also use the pull options we've looked at to modify our alternate selections. If I click Add, you'll notice it adds in both directions. If I click Cut, it cuts in either direction. And if I choose No Merge, you'll notice instead of merging this together, it creates a second solid body. Now that we have No Merge checked, I'll show you one last option. And that goes along with our tool guides. When you select on one of the tool guides, you'll get options for that specific tool guide. You'll get options for revolve if you're revolving, or sweep if you're sweeping. If I choose the revolve helix option, you'll notice it gives you a height, a pitch, and a taper angle. And you can press the tab key to tab between these values. The pitch will be the height of one single revolution. So if I change my pitch to 20, now every time I do go 360 degrees, the height will go up 20. So notice as I dynamically drag this, that's 20, 40, 60. Now you can dynamically drag to make this helix, or if I hit the escape key, you can always type in a value. So notice if I type in 40, it's revolved twice, went up to 20 and up to 40. The last tool guide we'll look at will be draft. A very fast way to draft is to double click to select the side edges. Notice as long as they're tangent, you'll get the entire loop. Now if you simply press the Alt key and choose this face, you'll start to draft. And again, you can draft outward or inward to make a modification. We'll simply add a draft of 15 degrees. So in this section, use our tool guides of sweep, revolve, and draft to make two sweeps along our angled protrusion. Use revolve to make a helical solid, making sure to check the no merge option and then draft some of the side faces.